Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under, and today I'm going to show you guys how to download, install, and run Call of Duty Mobile on the PC. Now this is a 100% official method, I am using the official emulator made by Tencent, the company that makes Call of Duty online, so let's get right into it and I'm not going to waste your time. So the first thing that we need to do is go to Google right here and type in Game Loop Call of Duty and Game Loop is the official emulator that we're going to be using. So what you need to go and do is just Google that and the first thing right here that pops up Call of Duty Mobile, go and click that. And as you can see, gameloop.fun slash detail, so on and so on. I'll have a link to that in the description below if you just want to go and click it. Now it says here, the official Call of Duty Mobile on PC. All you guys need to do, very simple, is click that download button and download it onto your desktop, downloads folder, wherever you want. So I'm going to go and click save. That will go and save to my desktop. Then I'm going to go and minimize, and as you can see, the file is here. Now, the next thing that you need to do is find that file and double click on it to install it, and just go and click the yes when it goes and pops up. But you guys won't see that because you go and get a black screen with my recording program. But it goes and you go and double click, you click yes, and what it's going and doing in the background is just installing. You don't need to go and click next, next, next and all that like traditional installers. It just goes and pops up and installs right on your computer, which is very, very nice. Now, as you can see, it's popped up. It's saying that the game engine is downloading and all you guys need to do is wait. Just wait for the game engine to fully download. Wait for Call of Duty Mobile to go and completely download. And as you can see, it will just go from 0 to 100% instantly. It's automatically installing because I already have Call of Duty Mobile on my computer. But for you guys, it will be, you know, however long for you to go and download it. So as you can see, it says installing, updating configuration file. What we need to do now is just wait until this is done before we go and hop in and customize some settings. Because if you don't wait till it fully installs, then we're going to have some problems. So just wait till it's completely done. All right, so as you can see, Call of Duty Mobile has loaded, but before we go and customize the settings in Call of Duty Mobile, and there is quite a few things that we need to go and muck around with, what we're going to go and do is just click that close button and close it because there are some settings in game loop that we need to go and customize first. There's two, you know, two sets of settings that we need to go and change. Now, what you need to do is in the top right hand corner of game loop here, click this, you know, free stack of bars, click that and then go down the setting. Now, there is a few settings that we need to go and customize. The first one, untick run at startup, unless you want game loop to go and launch every time you load up your PC, but personally, I don't, so I'm, I just unticked that. Then go down the engine right here, and it'll say rendering. Now, we've got all these different modes, smart mode, DirectX, so on, so on. Now, if we highlight DirectX, it says this mode has high stability, but requires high CPU usage. OpenGL has excellent performance, but poor stability. Now, overall, just go and click smart mode. Just let the game, you know, decide which one is best for your computer. Keep all of these settings the same, unless you're running a laptop with a dedicated GPU, like a 1050 Ti inside your gaming laptop. Make sure to go and click this, because this will go and choose the really good graphics card, your good Nvidia graphics card or whatever inside your laptop, rather than, you know, the dedicated one inside your processor that isn't that good. So click that if you're on a laptop, if you're on a desktop, do not worry about it. Now with the anti-aliasing here, just keep that on close, but if you want the best graphics possible, put it on ultimate. For memory, keep that on auto if you don't know how much RAM is on in your computer, but if you have a lot of RAM, go and put it on 409.6 to give a lot of memory to the game. So what we're gonna go and do now is processor, keep that on auto, resolution, put that on 1080p if you wanna play at 1080p, 720p if you wanna play at 720p, so on and so on. Now for DPI, keep that at 160. For playback, it's just going to default to what your Windows settings are for, you know, where your audio is playing through. So this is just through my headphones, so I'm just going to go and keep it how that is. So don't muck around with that. Now the last setting right here, this will only go and pop up once you've gone in on installed Call of Duty Mobile. So don't go into the settings unless Call of Duty Mobile has fully installed it and you're able to go and close out of it. That's why we customize the settings a little bit later on. So as you can see here, we go to game and this is Call of Duty Gaming Resolutions. Obviously, this will only pop up when you have Call of Duty Mobile installed. So 
SD 720p if you have a not so good computer, but I have a decent gaming PC, so I'm going to put it on 1080p for display quality. I'm just going to leave it on auto, but you guys can experiment if you want. So what you guys need to do is click save and then OK, and then click, click play to go and open up Call of Duty Mobile. It will then say in the bottom right hand corner, anti-cheat is running and all that, and we're just going to go and let it boot up. And as you can see, it's now in a 1080p window in comparison to the smaller window that we were showing before. Now, on the right hand side here, we've got a few things. We've got key mapping, we've got this full screen button. I'm going to show you that a little bit later on. But what I do need to show you guys now is if you move the window to the left a little bit, we've got the default controls. WASD, left click, right click, so on, so on. It goes and tells you everything in order to go and play Call of Duty Mobile on the PC because all the key bindings are done through game loop, not through the actual game itself. So we'll go and show that off a little bit later on, but the key mappings by default are actually pretty good, but there's one thing that we need to change, but I need to be in game to show that off. Now, before we go and hop in game, what I suggest you guys do is click this full screen button or go and press F11, and that will go in full screen your game. So it can be nice and, you know, look like an actual PC first person shooter. And then we're just gonna wait until Call of Duty Mobile goes and loads. So what you guys need to do is up the top right here, go and click this cog button and it will go and say controls, the first thing that pops up. Now advanced mode is what we're going to be playing on and we're not going to touch any of this. By default, this is perfectly fine. This is what the emulator sets to be the good setting, so we don't need to customize that. What we do need to customize though is these next few tabs. So we're going to go and click basic and there is a few things that we need to go and change. The first thing is aim assist turn that off. You don't want aim assist when you're playing on the computer because that's going to completely throw off your aim. All these settings are completely fine. For ADS, this is up to personal preference. Do you want to go and tap the right mouse button once to go and zoom in or do you want to go and hold it while zooming in? I like going and zoom, uh, holding the zoom in, so I'm going to go and click that. Display left fire button, go and turn that off. We don't need that. Keep that by default uh, unless you want to go and change that. Full sprint, where it says always sprint right here, make sure it's on 65. If you go and move it down to zero or 10 and stuff like that, the sprint button won't work. Your shift button won't work the sprint. So make sure you keep it in 65 and do not change this. Do not change this at all. Unless you want to always sprint. So you don't have to go and press the shift button, then click that. That means you'll sprint all the time. And that could be useful, but for me, I want to go and control when I sprint. If a camera FOV, make sure to go and put it to what you feel is best. For me, I like seeing more of my more of my surroundings. With 60, it's a bit, you know, tunneled in. But if you go to 75, you see a little bit more out, which is really good. You get to see enemies to the left and the right a little bit more. But you can go and experiment with that, and I'll show it off in-game when we hop in later on. So the next thing that we need to do is go to audio and graphics. And this is very, very important. So as you can see here, it says graphics quality. So we've got max, we've got high, we've got medium, we've got low. And as you can see here, all it does is it goes and takes off certain options right here. So obviously if you have a bad computer, put it on low. If you have a good computer, put it on max. For me, I'm just going to go and put it on very high. I feel very high is a good compromise between getting good performance, but also making the game look really good. Now for frame rate, by default, default, it's on max. Obviously, you want it on max when you're on the computer. This is only useful if you're on, let's say, a mobile phone and your phone is getting really, really hot. If you want to go and use less power, then you can run at a lower frame rate. But we're on a computer, boys, so let's go and chuck it on max. Next thing to go and look at is sensitivity. This is really, really important. So rotation mode, make sure it's on fixed speed. Do not go and change this because we don't want any accelerator, no mouse acceleration. Now for sensitivity prefaults, it's on custom. Very, very important. And as you can see here, these are my custom settings, custom sensitivity. 34 for standard and ADS, it is 50. Now, if we scroll down, there is another one called firing sensitivity versus camera sensitivity. What's the difference? Basically, when you're pressing that left mouse button and you're firing, there can be a different sensitivity. So for PC gamers like you and me, 
probably want to go and keep that the same as you've the ones up here but if you're playing this on the mobile probably could be a little bit useful to have maybe a lower sensitivity when you're firing so you can get a bit more of an accurate shot but for us we're just going to leave that by default we're going to leave this by default and for settings wise that is all good but there is one more thing that we need to do in game all right so we're hopping into a bot match and as you can see all of these players are bots so we're not playing with any real people now as you can see on your screen on your screen right now where it has like my reload button and then my grenade button all of that has little r's and g's and ones and twos on there we don't want that we don't want these you know little hints to go and show what the key presses are you learn it and then once you learn it you're all good so what you need to go and do is unfull screen by pressing f11 and then what you need to go and do to unhook your unhook your game to front to actually get the cursor here so as you can see i'm playing i'm moving my mouse key right here to go and unhook it go and press control now that's one thing that we are going to change because control that's something that you could potentially want to rebind to crouch and you could potentially go and hit it but for now just press control and then over on the right hand side here it says key mapping so go and press that and go and bring up a little bit of an option there's a few things that we need to go and worry about now the first thing that we need to go and change is this thing right here display key mapping tips so if we go and press that and then press save as you can see the tips are uh, tips are completely gone from the screen so that is very nice indeed now the next thing that, that we need to go and do is make sure that the whole unlock lock your mouse is not on control because I feel like control is a very very easy button to accidentally press and then in the middle of a fight you're like oh my god what's happening so what you need to do is just double click on here and then press any key that you would like th that isn't control and isn't in your vicinity that you're playing your game and all that. So I'm just going to press the, like the tilde button. It's up in the bot top left hand corner. I'm not going to go and press it. However, what I also want to go and do is customize my crouch button because by default it's on C, but I want to go and change it to control. So you just double, you just click it once, press control and you're good. And there is a ton of stuff you can go and change your kill streaks, your guns and all that. You can go and modify that how you will, but I'm just going to go and leave that how it is right now. These are my settings and then click save. Then if you want to go and back in game, press F11. This bot's trying to go and kill me. And as you can see, we're in game. We're ready to go and we are ready to go and take out some people. So as you can see, we're in game right now. If I go and press the tilde button, it will go and unlock my mouse. As you can see, if I was in the middle of a match, I was firing at this guy and I unlocked my mouse. I'd be like, oh my God, what am I doing? What am I doing? That's why the control position is a bad position to go and be in. But as you can see, I'm mowing down some bots and all that. The bots have got terrible aim, having some fun. But when you go and verse actual good players, this is kind of fun, really, really fun indeed. So as you can see, if you want to go and so says tap twice to skip, all you need to go do is tap the spacebar twice or uh, double tap your screen twice with your left mouse button and that will go and skip it. So when you go and die, just spam that mouse button and then you'll be back in game ASAP. But with that said, this is Call of Duty Mobile and it handles really nice. It's got great, great graphics, got great frame rates. Overall, I'm having a lot of fun spraying down enemies with the purifier. Overall, it's not too bad indeed, and that is that's my tutorial on how to go and play Call of Duty Mobile on the PC. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to go and smash that like button, and also go and comment in the comment section below if you want more tutorials about certain things in the game. I can definitely go and help you guys out, and make sure to go and subscribe for more Call of Duty Mobile videos. Bye, Renats. Undercover dudes, all the way from down under.